We welcome you back to BC Brew on Tap from Mahoney and Sons of Canada Place. The one thing that you'll notice about the BC beer scene is that there's a collection of characters that really takes all types. They're all shapes and sizes. There's some that are kind of out there. And there's some really good, sincerely cool people. These two are among my favorites. They're the Doan Boys from Doan's Craft Brewing. Thank you. Evan Doan, head brewer. Mike Spreadsheet Doan, you're the, you're the business guy. <laughs> And you're doing it right on the east side of town. Um, nice to see you guys again. Great to see you. What's, where are we at today? The last time we had you on the show, and I vaguely recall, you kind of looked a little different. <laughs> but let's go back to where even like what was probably that was two years ago. Look at what's developed since. Are you guys blown away by this, or did you kind of see it coming? It's unreal. It seriously is unreal. Um, everything's running the same, though. We're trying to keep up. It's basically what's happening. Um, yeah. It's, it's so hard to kind of, the size we are, to kind of keep up. Uh, demand's high for everybody all around town, and we're trying to help each other um, just make it happen. So you being the guy that wants to brew these great beers, and you being you know, the business side, you guys are brothers, obviously you, you, you know, sort of co-align with each other, but there's really, it's kind of a problem sometimes because you can't just automatically go, that's it, we're expanding. Yeah. You're kind of, I mean, I've been to your brewery a number of times, you're pretty much maxed out in yeah. terms of space and capacity. So when you have a product that's hot and moving off the shelves and, and moving off the taps, and you, you need to grow, what do you do? Oh, there's there are a couple options. You'll see more donuts in 2017. I can't talk too much about it right now, but um, right now, we're just trying to keep our brand really strong. So they keep the beer absolutely delicious, You know, sort of update the branding a little bit to make us look better, uh, get around town, do more festivals to get our name out there. Um, and yeah, we were able to get three more tanks for our brewery, which to some people might not be much for us, but for us is like essentially doubling our capacity. So we've done that, and so we're going to pump out as much beer as we can, do as many sales as we can, keep the beer high quality, and that's all we can really do right now. Now, you guys, like so many other people that are in, in the beer business, you came from the home brewing thing. Did you have a shared vision in terms of what styles you liked versus what styles you liked? Or did, were you wildly varying and did you get into arguments that, no, no, this is, this is where we want to take our beers? The greatest thing about our relationship is we never really get into arguments. Uh, we did in the past when we were kids, but we've kind of grown out of it. But long story short, uh, when we were homebrewing, we kind of like came up with, we went IPA crazy like everybody does. When you first have your IPA, you kind of spit it out, so, and then but, you get addicted to them. But we've talked about this. Like the first time I tried an IPA, I would have spit it out, sent it back, going to something around with your beer. Yeah. Was it immediate for you guys? Did you like? No, it? no, no. I remember first having actually Central City's IPA, and I could hardly drink it. Now it's one of my favorite beers. It's just like a taste development. It's like having olives for the first time. Yeah. You don't even know like, like why you would even appreciate that flavor, and then over time you develop it. So definitely, if you're not an IPA drinker, drink a bunch of IPAs because before you know it, you're gonna absolutely love them and you can be able to tell the differences between a bunch of different hops. It's super fun. But when we were homebrewing, though, we kind of went from that IPA, and then my brother, our other brother, John, he travels to Germany, and he kind of went, brought us into that kind of, like, really clean, crisp, simple, we're on Heiskabot beers. Mm -hmm. And that kind of opened our eyes into, like, wow, like, because normally a lager, you think of various other like mass-produced things, and you're like, well, I don't really want to do that. But then yeah. you try. We tried brewing a lager, and we're like, wow, like this is quite tasty. I really like enjoy this. So we kind of went in that direction with German styles and trying to keep it as traditional as possible. When you brew beers or when you sell beers and market them, do you have to actually enjoy and like each one, or can you look at the commercial value of something that personally you may not enjoy at all? I think we like them all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like at least our beers like I think it would be a challenge and maybe it's because we're so small maybe it's because we don't have a big sales team where a bunch of those sales like personnel are gonna really like this beer you know I think we need to really like the beer we're selling because it's just us you know it's just us and Kev and we're selling this beer so if we don't like the beer then how are you gonna sell it how are you gonna be honest about it so I, I think we really do like all of our beers I do at least definitely well, let's walk down the Dome's Craft Brewing beer roster because there's a couple of things in particular, one of which is your Rye IPA, which <laughs> I've raved about for a long time. But you also have Rye Stout. Like, yeah. And it, what, what is your style? What, what is it that you decide when you, do you have meetings on a somewhat regular basis or do you just keep producing more of the same old good, good stuff that's working? We kind of do it, a good way of putting it is kind of like Dogfish style down in the States. Um, he started in a brew pub and he kind of got this like taste for like experimenting. And it's not, like a lot of big breweries might say like, hey, well, uh, IPA is selling really well, so let's do another IPA, let's push that. 
but we kind of like look at the market and be like are influenced by it for sure and saying like wow that was delicious let's try that hop or whatnot but we also got to kind of like have a lot of fun being so small just being like okay well we'll try this why not kind yeah of thing and we have and a couple of dream beers you know like a couple of beers that we would love to do and we chat like every couple of months so, like you me and alex will sit down and we'll sit down in like our parking lot essentially and we'll go over our list of beers and be like no we're absolutely not doing that well, that doesn't make sense for the fall or winter or yes we're gonna do that so we'll circle a couple and we'll test batch those beers and we'll do them. And it's just like, yeah, our dream beers, essentially. When, when, yeah. when you're young guys such as you are and you have your own brewery, are you forever being hit on for beers? Like, if, for example, if someone <laughs> yeah. says, hey, hey, Mike and Evan, come on over to the house on Friday night. We're having a party. Are they expecting you to be loaded down with beers? Hit on for beers. <laughs> I think um, not for parties, no. no. Yeah. I think maybe there is an underlying expectation. I just maybe. ignore it. Yeah. But, <laughs> but no, I don't think so. Um, I find it's like really nice to be able to bring a couple of growlers of beers to a party or to a family gathering or something like that. Yeah. It's nice to be able to like provide that and everyone loves it. Um, you get hit on a lot for like donations, yeah. but oh, that's yeah. a whole show unto itself. Isn't yes, it? I would say so. Uh, cool spot on Powell Street in East Van. Free arcade games, which yes, I hit, uh, <laughs> and the Rye IPA. Got to try it. Thanks. Now, one final question: If we have you on a year and a half, two years down the road, what are you going to look like? Bald. Yeah, bald. <laughs> The Dome Boys, more BC Brew on tap coming up. <laughs>